So essentially the market uh, for us, for the dollar silver coins, uh, has been very strong. Now it's changed quite a bit, you know, with the change in presidency uh, and things of that nature. Uh, we're seeing that market drop out quite a bit and it's a lot more of the custom products. So here in the States, the market's still, I would say, medium to strong, whereas abroad it's actually dropped off completely. And we see very little sales uh, outside of the States. Our proof product sales have increased with the demand lately and mainly that's coin production as opposed to blank production. Fancy coins which aren't really market driven at all, those are more collectors. We take the raw material that's mined and that's shipped to us by our customers. At that point we then melt the silver and we have to melt the silver mainly to put it in a form that we can process throughout the rest of our fabrication process. So to do so, you take raw material and you also add some, some material that's already been processed. Some of the, it's not the reject material, but it's just some of the scrap that's throughout the process. And you, you integrate that right into the melting process. At that point, it becomes a billet. And the billet is now a form that we can process throughout the rest of the processes in the factory. At that stage, really our goal is one of two things. It's either to make a blank, uh, some of our customers take blanks, or to make a coined or stamped piece. At that stage, we can be up to five or six quality levels that the customer demands, all the way from a proof product down to a bullion product. The market is definitely a driving force, and, and the main thing is the cost of silver, and the price of silver per ounce. But the market hasn't affected us as much as it's affected other industries because we actually have maintained through some of the dips. The past two years have been the best two years uh, Sunshine Minting's had. There was a couple dips within that period. So it's a little bit relative to the market, but at the same time, investors, you're not quite sure what investors are thinking. 90% of our business is investment silver.